Good evening, folks. How is everyone? As always, I hope you're doing well. You know you're my people, and I love you. I always want you to be the big three, baby. I want you happy. I want you healthy, and I want you safe. You know what I want for me? Like, share, remind, help grow the program, kick it around, hit the algorithm thing, leave a comment, right? Something like that. Anyway, I have been slacking, but, you know, happens. I was in Mexico last week. This week, there are no Mexican ciders that I could find, by the way. I did look. This week on Cider Sunday, we are going to take a look at one from Newtopia. This is their Sailing on Sun, Sailing on Sunbeams Apple Mead with Passion Peach Tea. Okay. Uh, I'm not a huge mead fan. And it is not really my... It doesn't fit my flavor profile well. Uh, I, I find it as an odd cutoff about midway for me. I, I don't know why. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, produced and canned by Newtopia Cider in San Diego. The ABV on this is going to be 5. They give us absolutely nothing else other than 16 fluid ounces. And the Surgeon General blubbity blubbity warning. So, let's see what we got. We're shooting by the seat of our pants today because I didn't bother to set anything up because I was like, holy shit, I need to get a cider up for tomorrow. I didn't even realize this was a mead. So, mea culpa, my friends. Please forgive me. Right off the bat, she looks pretty interesting. It's a very apple-y color, and yes, I chilled the glass down. It's 114 outside today, so we're not dragging gear outside into the heat. The enemy of electronics is heat. That, that's nice. Uh, I forget what they call the SRMs on ciders. Not that it really matters much. This one is pretty. Natural sunlight in the dark. She's, um, let's give her an eight. She looks like an eight. Okay. Biden time. Ooh, hold on. Let's get a temp, and then we'll do Biden time. This is that, um, I can never remember the name of these things. Um, that thing. Of course, I took my glasses off, so good luck reading anything. Elevated craft. This is the elevated craft, not quite a pint glass. So, she's a, a light pint or a short pint. So I can't get all 16 ounces in there, even though this is a mead and it has no head. Which is kind of surprising. You would think that there would be the protein in there, but there's not. Anyway, Biden time. Let's get that sniffer in there and see what's going on. An interesting odd nose. So they said passion fruit peach tea on top of apple mead. I get a, a very earthy apple, a very dank, almost sour apple. Not vinegar. Not the vinegar smell you get. But um, richer. Darker? I know. Odd concept. Just throwing it out there. And then... I'm definitely picking up the peach. I don't know about the passion fruit. But maybe the peach is commingling with the apple to give it that that uh, nose, if you will. Let's bring his camera down just a hair. Yeah, that's somewhat better. All right, let's slip it a tongue. actually kind of interesting so as a, the boy liked mead he was doing mead for a while then he switched over to ciders and I tried mead I bought a mixed case of mead from one of the companies and the best way I can describe it is it would literally stop about halfway back on my soft palate and then the flavor would just be non-existent I, I, I don't know why it's just the way I'm wired um, not this though uh, 
Yes, apple. Yes, peach. Yes, passion fruit. All of them are in there, and they mingle up really, really nicely. It's interesting. She's dirty. I still taste it. And she's starting to chalk out my teeth, so she's going to be in the dry category. Let's call her medium dry. Mix it up as we go along, right? The flavor profile, on the other hand, is actually not bad. So that apple note I was referring to on the nose transfers in as, and I know this is going to sound silly, apple cidery, but um, I don't know, have you ever had real fresh pressed apple cider, the real stuff? And when you get it from the farm, sometimes they have the stuff that's been sitting around for a little while. It's still fresh pressed. They pull the apples down, they put them in the press, and then they put the juice into the jugs and put it in the refrigerator, the retarder. Um, and while they sit in the retarder, the sugars start to age a little. That's what it tastes like. So it doesn't taste like a straight, cider so it's not like a martinelli sparkling or um whatever other fruit juice companies out there do ciders it, it tastes more like farm press cider which is good she's rich she's to cup a word from the hop heads dank which is nice um on the scale to break down the flavor profile because again she's commingled but I only say that because it doesn't progress from apple to peach to passion, which would probably be correct with this if it worked that way, because the apple would be the heavier of the flavors and then peach and then passion tends to be really, really light on the back end. This on the other hand, uh, I'd say she's probably 65 apple and then 25 peach, 10 passion. That makes 100, right? I, I'm no meth magician here, um, but I believe that makes 100. I, I can make change for a dollar. She's not bad. She's actually pretty interesting. I was surprised. Once I saw a meat on there, I was going to be like, oh, this is going to suck. This does not suck. Comes in, tongue, soft palate, a little bit out into the buccals, intradentals, nothing sublingual, nothing extra dentally, fast right to the back, dirty, smooth, surprisingly. But then again, she's only 5%. Yeah, no, this is a completely drinkable cider. I, I'm completely okay with this. Oh, I'm sorry, mead. That being said, I wouldn't drink too many of them. So, um, hold on just a second. Sorry about that. Um, so, no, it's a, this is actually really tasty. It's a nice cider. I like this. Oof, would I buy this again? Probably not. And again, I said cider instead of mead. I'm, I'm just in that mindset. I'm still not 100% back from Mexico. I, I could tell you stories about that, but I prefer not to. Um... What about this kid? No. Would I drink it again? Sure. Try it on tap. The original tap or handed this to me under the cooler. I would say I would say thank you. Uh, I again, I can't see doing more than one or two of these, uh, but they're really not my style. That being said, if I had to give this a score, it's drinkable. She's interesting. She's good for the style. Four and a half. Let's give her a four and a half. It just, nope. There is absolutely nothing wrong with sailing on sunbeams. Unless you're uh, sailing on orange sunshine, but that's a completely different subject for a completely different time. But yeah, you won't catch me doing that anymore either. Getting old, man. Um, 
that's what I got for you. So thanks for coming by. Ciders are drying up again. Uh, the boy called and told me he had one that he was going to hold for me that looked interesting. So uh, it's 114 outside today. Um, I don't know. We shall see. On the other hand, uh, and this is the problem with ciders. They come, they go, they dry up, they get plentiful. But I'll keep our bowls open, and when I grab new stuff, you'll get new updates. Thanks for coming by. Once my bowls on here, my people, you know I love you. Just want you to be the big three. Happy, healthy, safe, honorable, dutiful, vigilant. She's tarting up now. She's warming up. So she's starting to tart up. Let's get a temp and see. Uh, you know, the problem with being ADD and anal is all the ADD and anal stuff. only gone up a few degrees and yet the flavor profile hasn't really shifted much other than she's got tart goes with that dank apple flavor still not bad just show you how hot it is and the house is like 78 77 in an insulated cup with a frozen glass and she's warming up welcome to arizona on the other hand i don't have to shovel sunshine i have a pool out back um yeah anyway sorry about that you know me i tend to wander thanks for coming by put some eyeballs on here happy healthy safe honorable dutiful vigilant gray man i don't swivel hot and handy i will catch you on the next one my friends until then skull like this enough to finish it that that should be praise in itself adios